Ed is present when Mance Raider is executed by Stannis Baratheon for refusing to bend the knee. During the choosing for the 998th Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, Ed sits quietly throughout the proceedings. He applauds when John is officially elected to succeed Mormont. Ed is sitting with Sam when John first gives new assignments as Lord Commander. The antagonistic Thorn being named as First Ranger causes Ed and Sam to look at each other in confusion. When Yano Slint refuses to man and repair Greyguard, Jon Snow orders him to be brought outside. Ed is initially blocked by Thorn, but he steps aside while giving Ed a look of approval. Ed and two black brothers seize Janos and bring him out to the courtyard. Although Janos boasts of his powerful friends in the capital, Ed forces Janos down onto the chopping block and watches as he is executed by Jon Snow for disobedience. Following Jon's decision to allow the wildlings to pass the wall in order to escape the White Walkers and possibly aid them in the upcoming battle, Ed voices that though he will follow Jon no matter what, he will not forget nor forgive the wildlings for the deaths of Gren, Pip, and the others lost in Mance Raider's attack. Nonetheless, he accompanies Jon Snow and Tormund, along with some other Black Brothers, when they leave for Hardhome. Ed accompanies Jon and Tormund as they approach the Wildling leaders at Hardhome via Stannis's royal fleet. After negotiations, Jon asks Ed to start gathering any dragonglass weapons in the tent. Ed does so, and approaches the clearly intimidating giant 1-1 to ask that he give up the dragonglass arrowhead he is curiously observing. However, 1-1 doesn't give it up and asks Ed, the fuck you looking at? In the giant's rudimentary form of the old tongue, so Ed goes away quietly, without collecting the arrowhead. When the white walkers begin their attack, Ed fights off several whites and, in the confusion, manages to find and retrieve John, and they head for the boats. Ed, John, Tormund, 1-1, and several wildlings narrowly escape the whites chasing them. In the process, they leave a substantial amount of essential dragonglass at the site and barely make it onto a longboat. They manage to get to the last remaining boat and quickly row out to a safe distance. As Ed and the others look on in horror, the Night King raises his arms triumphantly. All around it, the slain wildlings rise up as undead whites. The Night King and his army continue to stare in silence as they retreat. Ed is later present alongside John and the Night's Watch, wildling survivors return to Castle Black. <laughs>